Hey friends, and welcome to another day at Coral Island. Today we're going to be talking about which of the five seeds you can buy are best to plant at the beginning of the game. We'll look at how much they cost, how long they take to grow, and how much you can make from them. Keep in mind, Coral Island is in early access and things may change over time. Starting at day one, the variety of seeds you can buy are limited. We've got our daisies, which are our flower, turnips, potatoes, carrots, and cauliflower. These are all seasonal to spring and won't last past that. There are 28 days in spring, so take advantage of that and start planting as soon as you can. That way you can get as much turnover as possible. I made a chart to break down the numbers for each and every crop. I took into account the cost, the sale price, the days to grow, and how many times you can plant those within the month. Doing a little bit of math, you can see that cauliflower will give you the most bang for your buck, but you can only grow three rounds of cauliflower within the month. You'll have some extra days by the end where you can't plant more cauliflower because they won't finish growing before the end of the season. Cauliflower takes eight days to grow, which is longer than it takes for any other crop. If you're looking to make some money quicker so that you can work towards getting those backpack slots and upgrading your tools, plant some potatoes. They're nearly as good as cauliflower, but only take five days as opposed to eight days for cauliflower. And of course, it's a good idea to mix and match. Like I said, you won't be able to do four rounds of cauliflower before the end of the month, but you will be able to squeeze in some extra potatoes if you do the math accordingly. Potatoes take five days to grow, so remember to give yourself time for them to fully grow so you can harvest and sell them before the end of the season. I'd also suggest crafting a scarecrow as soon as you can. These birds are merciless. They will eat your crops and that's just your hard earned money lost. To unlock the scarecrow recipe, you'll need to get your farming to level one. Try farming a lot on your first couple days to get the Scarecrow recipe as quickly as possible. In order to craft the Scarecrow, you'll need 15 wood and 10 trash. Clearing the land in front of your house should give you plenty of both, but the recycling center also has a bunch of trash available. The Scarecrow covers a 5x5 area with a Scarecrow in the center. Keep this in mind when first planting your crops, so you can just plop the Scarecrow down as soon as you get it, right in the middle of it all. If you misplace it, just hit it with a pickaxe and it pops up out of the ground for you to pick up. Then you can replace it wherever you need to. Remember rainy days automatically water your plants, so use that energy to fish, catch bugs, or visit the cavern to make extra money. Mining is also how you work to get ores that you'll need to turn into bars to upgrade your tools. Alright, that's the best way to start your farming in the early days on Coral Island. Good luck, and remember to like and subscribe if you found this helpful at all.